Hello, welcome back to Iron Fist Classic. This is episode 3, and we're going to go over issues 21 to 23 of Marvel Premiere for the Iron Fist stuff. First up, issue number uh, 21. Uh, the issue opens up with Batroc basically arguing with Ward, Ma uh, Ward Magnum over the fact the uh, he, uh, he, he didn't get paid that... Uh, that he didn't get paid that much because he didn't kill Iron Fist. He just fought him. And he tells him he needs to leave as soon as possible um, because he is wanted in the country. So he decides to leave. And as far as I know, he does not reappear in the Iron Fist series after this. This is probably this is the last time you will see uh, the character of Batroc the Leaper in the series. So we have just Joy and War just talking. Uh, that he has uh, while they're talking like t trying to calm her down and he has his own reasons and then we have it where um, let's see yeah this is it and we cut away to um, Iron Fist going back to the home of Professor Li Wang and he sees um, his apartment in shambles and we can introduce Surprisingly enough, to the awesome and hot Misty Knight. Yep, this is the first time they meet. They don't meet again for several issues after this, but it's nice to see uh, Misty Knight and Iron Fist actually meeting each other. So they fight. They fight for, for very briefly, and then he knocks her out. Yep, and then we uh, see like a. Like a shadow of the ninja, we got away to, um, and he goes and tries to find Professor Lee, and goes to the Temple of Kali, where apparently um, Kali and Daniel, uh, not Daniel, um, Professor Wang are basically held captive by the cult that's there. So, yeah, and he tries, he goes try to go save him, but he gets attacked by um, the cult members, and then we are greeted to the living goddess which even Danny admits he's not impressed by her at all uh, friends of yours right while your base seeks assassin slay my friends yeah and this is all over a book yes a book that way Professor Wayne found during a dig yeah and then then uh, tells him it says predicts the ultimate destruction of Kung Long it says and he says they knew nothing of Kung Long so, and of course, uh, the, he attacks the ninja, he attacks the assassins. He says, raid my cloak of darkness. Uh, yeah, that. And of course, he goes to fight the god, goes to fight uh, a female assassin. Gets knocked back. Gets more fighting in. Uh, knocks out, and he, he frees uh, calling and Li Wang, the father, he frees father and daughter. Frees them, and, um... Knocks out another assassin, and of course the statue of Kali falls over. But uh, since you saved us, <laughs> yeah, apparently um, dropped the cloak of darkness and uh, just so it could smash the statue. See more fighting, 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 more fighting. Of course, Kali jumps in the action like, hey, I want to fight too. And then something strange that, and then. Uh, and then Professor Wang turns into the ninja. And like, and Colleen is like shocked because he's a ninja. And of course they uh, throw the book into some fire. And apparently the ninja gets separated from Professor Wang. And he's like, what does it mean to this cosmic joke? I, I was going my own prison. And then the issue ends with him just about to... Um, Try to kill Iron Fist, and of course, this next issue is yeah, Iron Fist versus the Ninja. And we have the cover for the trade. Yep, that's issue 22 of Marvel Premiere. Yep. Oh, in case you're wondering, there's still no change in the creative team. And we have a fight between the Ninja and Iron Fist. Yep. He fights him, and, the, and of course, the Kali fights him too. Then the cops show up. I'm like, how the heck did they find this place? Never explain. 
And they try to get him, they try to arrest Iron Fist because he is wanted for the murder of uh, Harold Magnum. So, yeah. So the 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 Call of Kali are fighting the cops, and the leader of the cult gets away. And um, Iron Fist does not want to fight the cops. He's like, "You freeze." Nope, I blame. Like uh. Like uh, like he wants to bring him in. They want to bring him in for the death of Peril Magna. That's wrong. It was Ninja who murdered Magna. I guess it isn't. The Ninja confessed, and the guy fully admits it. He actually he actually admitted he was the one who killed uh, Harold Magna a few issues back. And of course they resume their fighting, which lasts for several pages. And of course changes some dialogue here and there. And uh, we also get a chance to see the backstory of the ninja. Or apparently some ancient samurai. Yeah, some samurai. He picks up the book and then he fights some Kalan people. He fights a thunderer of all people. Yeah, he fights a thunderer. And then he gets trapped by uh, the leader of Kunlong in the book. And of course explains how change hands. Professor Wayne getting it, them and the people trying to kill him for it, and yeah, and continue fighting, 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 fighting. Yep, and they continue fighting for pretty much most of the rest of the issue. And of course, Iron Fist tears off the rest of his shirt. He hits him. Of course, he gets knocked back. He's about to hit uh, Fest Wang, but he stops himself in time. Excitement, and of course, the Call of Call Lee is taken to custody. The, uh, the sisters, the daughters of Call Lee split. I don't think they're seen again. And then, um, because it, he, he's, cleared of, he's cleared of the murder, and then he takes off his mask, and bam, we get this nice picture of, uh, of uh, Danny Rand on his mask on. And that issue ends that recurring story arc of the whole thing of the Herald. It ends like the first major story arc for um, the series at this point. And now we cut away to issue 23, where he fights this guy here. Um, let's see. His name is Warhawk. And we got a new creative team. It is uh, Chris Claremont from McKinney X-Men, who actually, from this point, from, from this point and the final couple issues... And the entire Iron Fist series is written by Chris Claremont. The artwork is done by Pat Badpatrick. Tony Isabella's last issue was issue 22. And then we... Oh, okay. We open up with... Uh, calling in Dan and just walking down the street. And the, he's in the scope of a sniper. And of course, the sniper takes out a couple people. Uh, he takes out several people, including his kid's parents. Even a cop gets shot, too. And he gets the kid away, and of course uh, a police van blows, uh, up, and of course a cop car blows up. And then he goes after the assassin, and the assassin turns out to be this guy. This is Warhawk. Yep, he was the one firing the gun. Of course, then Danny and him fight for about a few pages, and then, we, then he's treated by Professor Wang for his injuries. And of course, he gets introduced to uh, Lieutenant Raphael, Raphael Strife, who actually is a reoccurring supporting character of Iron Fist. He gets another one soon. I'll get to introduce him soon. Um, where he remembers Warhawk from Vietnam. He used to be a, he, an actual killer. And we get. Uh, sort of a minor flashback of when. Danny Rand was still a student um, of Lee Kang, the Thunderer, about missing Lockett. Yeah, the missing course was taken. Of course, he opens up the thing and gets it back. Yeah, he does get it back. It's a minor little story. We cut back to present day while this guy is... Um, Yep, 
Yeah, he's talking to his wife. Yeah, Warhog's talking to his wife. He slaps his wife. Like, dishes back and says, You're hurt, no one. Least of all, Colleen. Thinks he, he thinks he's his wife. Yeah. And, of course, he fights Iron Fist. And, of course, Warhawk and Iron Fist fight again. And a fight that lasts for pretty much the rest of the issue while flashing back. Like, why do you do it? Okay? And, uh, that's it for that. Um, three really good issues. 22 wraps up pretty much the, the first major story of the series that, that had begun with issue 17. So... You kind of ended sort of a six-part storyline, which was nice, the fact that 20 Isabella finally wrapped that one up. And 23 was a nice transition issue, a nice standalone issue, just sort of take a break from a major story. Of course, there will be more major stuff coming, especially when Colleen Wayne, uh, what happens to her. But I give these three issues a 9 out of 10. Great issues. So... That is it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where I go over the last two issues of Iron Fist's time in Marvel Premiere, which is issues 24 and 25, and the first issue of the Iron Fist ongoing series. First of 15 issues. Okay? Until then, see you there. Bye.